math this year is different because it's much more hands-on um, than it has been in the years past. Um, they're using many more manipulatives, materials in front of them, whether it's individually or whether it's with a group or a partner. Um, they're really able to see that concrete understanding of what they're doing because of all the manipulatives that we're using. Well, I feel in, in the past, we would teach according to different units, and then we would present, for example, multiplication, and we would teach everything about multiplication within that time frame, within that unit, and that was it. We wouldn't see it anymore. We would expect for them to master it after the completion of the unit. Whereas now we know they have them till the end of the year because they will be seeing the same concept multiple times. Previous curriculum didn't do it that way. Um, you know, we we might have chose um, to do topic one or topic nine, and then go back to topic three because that's how we felt we wanted to teach the standard, um, and it would be easier but it didn't, it didn't spiral. So if that was our curriculum, not to say that as a classroom, we didn't go back to certain things, but the curriculum didn't. So this brand new curriculum, it's in there. We're following it from book one mm -hmm. to book eight or however many manuals there are. When they do come to their answer or they've solved their problem, that's where you see the excitement. That's where you see the joy. Like I did it, I was able to do it. And it almost gives them a little bit more of independence because then they, you know, they come to you and they're like, I got it, yeah. I got it. Look, look, is this right? Um, and, and they understand and then that light bulb goes off. And, and if there's no challenge and if they're not struggling at all, there's there's not a lot of joy in that because yes. they're not feeling that confidence and that, that um, excitement of, you know, I didn't get it and now I get it.